Alright guys, so today we are in the F-15 Japanese, and we have our Japanese wingman over there. We'll go ahead and tell him to go pincer right. Flight, pincer right. Go on. Now, while he does the pincer thing, uh, we are going to be fighting four J-10 Chinese fighters. Uh, now, the J-10, as far as I know, it was China's first attempt at a fourth generation fighter. Um, it is ASA capable. It is FOX-3 capable. Um, today, they will be firing uh, PL-12s at us, which are, which are TWS capable which means that when those missiles come at us, I'm not going to receive any notification until they go pitbull, similar to the AMRAM, that I'll be firing at them. I'll go ahead and lock these guys up here. Looks like a pretty tight formation. Um, so we're going to see how this plays out, and we have a numerical advantage for the Chinese here. As we know, the Chinese military, very large, and uh, there's a lot of situations where they may have a numerical advantage. Uh, so here we are, two F-15s against four J-10s. He's not going to do anything. Hopefully he'll just clean up whatever's left behind. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, shoot these guys. One second. Alright, this starts to look good. I think uh, 30 miles is pretty decent. Fox 3. Fox 3. Fox 3. I only managed to lock three of them. Three of the four. We'll give them one more Fox 3 here. Fox 3. And now we will dive. Uh, diving into the thicker air here and a slight offset to drag the missiles drag them horizontally and into denser air here and maintaining the lock the entire time within the gimbal limit guiding those amrams into target and hopefully we can take out at least two or three of these guys and even the odds right off the bat here and I remember one of those guys is long shot so I don't know who he is he doesn't know which one I am
So him not knowing who's me and which one's, and me not knowing which one is him, it makes us have to defend um, every bandit as if it's like a person. And, you know, you don't treat them like dumb AI. Now, here, looks like we had a missile launch there. Yep, wonderful, all right. Go ahead and go cold here. I think my missiles are close enough to have gone pitbull by now. Continue defending here. One of these guys is chasing me, and I gotta Over turn around. Over G. Over G. At least two of them are still alive, I think. So let's see if we can get them on radar. That missile was chasing me. I'm not worried about it. It's a low energy state. It's an older missile. Go ahead and lock these guys up. Get a little closer here. Got two missiles for these guys. Fourteen. I'd love to get closer to ten here. And one of them is facing me. Twelve, eleven, Fox three here. Fox three. And Fox three. Alright. And we're defensive again. We're gonna dive down in case they shoot at me. Turn away. The water is a little bit disorienting at times. You can't tell exactly how much altitude you have. You gotta use the horizon and you gotta use your instruments there. Alright, so far so good. We'll try turning back in to stay offensive. And I'm pretty sure they've killed my wingman by now. And I'm out of Fox 3s. Fox 2 only. There we go. Fox 2. I hope that turns. I don't think it, it can turn as much as I'm hoping. That's a Fox 3. Oh. Engine fire. Right engine fire. I smoke. I didn't expect him to be that close. That's a good kill. All right, guys, let's do our quick little tack V review. We have uh, me in the blue uh, F-15 over here and my dumb wingman, that's the number two. And then over here, we got the uh, red J-10s uh, flown by, led by Longshot here. Don't forget to check out his channel. And here you can see, let's see our ranges here. To Longshot, about 30 miles between me and him. And I got Mach 1.2 at about uh, 31,000 feet. So these launch parameters are not terrible for the AMRAM. I would like to be a little bit faster, but this is what we had. 
And uh, so I fire off four uh, with the intention of um, her, uh, thinning out this herd, essentially. Because I can fight two or maybe even one of them alone, but not four. So what happens is they also fire. They got a PL-12 in the air. And the major problem is here, I don't really know the Mar of the PL-12. And therefore, this is one of the reasons why countries don't just give out their missile information. Because it's hard to defend something if you don't know, you know, its capabilities. So this is why those Wikipedia numbers and stuff you read are not accurate. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, here is another PL-12 launch. This one looks like it's uh, it's gone stupid. Um, AMRAM's here. I'll fast forward a little bit. And so you see the dive down into denser air to try to drag any missiles down. Let's get rid of these labels. And we got another PL-12 launch. That one's very much on me. Uh, splash 1J10 over here. This is long shot. He's still alive. He's defending one AMRAM here. Looks like my wingman puts two out. That's nice. And I turn back in. Climb over that missile. Didn't see it, but it was useless anyway. Um, let's see this wingman's AMRAMs. Oh, he puts out two more. Oh, he fired a combined total of four missiles. Okay, so I guess maybe he wasn't totally useless. Five missiles, wow. Owen Wilson, wow. <laughs> and, I mean, launch parameters of the missiles are awful. He's like below Mach 1. Oh, no, he's not. He's Mach 1.3. Wow. What is he doing? Anyway, um, there's another missile. Both of his missiles... I guess that makes four of his missiles have now missed. And he finally does manage a hit here. And what happened to this guy? Oh. Oh, he got the other one too. <laughs> oh, he splashed two guys. Wow. And I almost got long shot here. Oh, it was so close. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so I'll take it back. Uh, that wingman was actually really good. He did a really good job. Um, unfortunately, he gets clapped in the face by a PL-12 that came off of one of these wingmen. Because he just didn't defend. He just hung up in the high altitude, so he gets killed. And then here, I'm all out of AMRAMs. So I try to recommit, and I didn't know my separation to long shot. And you can see here it's about 4.5 miles. So I fire. I knew he was close, but I didn't know how close. And so I had no choice. I needed to throw something at him to make him at least think it's an AMRAM. Maybe he could see the launch. Um, but when I got the lock, I saw the range, and it was not good. So I try to turn away. I flare because I thought maybe you know, I was within Fox 2 range. I thought he would Fox 2. And uh, that's why in the second I get hit by the missile, you hear me say, oh, that's a Fox 3. <laughs> because RWR was pinging and uh, dead. And you can see my Fox 2 didn't track because it's not a, it wasn't a 9X. It wasn't going to make that turn. So there it is, Chinese victory. And the only J-10 alive is long shot. So three J-10s destroyed and two F-15s. So, all right, guys, that's going to be the video for today. Big thank you to long shot for helping out. And uh, thank you to all of you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.